What's up, Zadok Hell Collective? So, what's ha what happened? What happened? Because I feel like you're you're at peace with fate about something that came to rise. I I just feel like you're like oh I'm done. You you energetically disconnected from this person before this breakup or this situation, whatever you just had to release. So the cards will help me figure that out. So what's the next steps from here? That's what you hear. Where are the next steps? And whatever you released, you just definitely close out somebody or an energy dynamic. It couldn't even be a job. That was just holding you in a low vibration. And, and it could be hard with the mundane experience to, let's see. Yeah, the magician, the master manifestor. You asked for change, you asked for clarity, and you received it, okay? This is good. This is happening for you, not to you, even if it's intense right now. Okay. So, let's get our oracles. And get into this. So, perfect. Okay. Alright. Let's lay these bad boys out. I want that one first. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So you definitely had a tower moment. That's what I was feeling from you. You were having a tower moment. So we have ten of swords up hand. That's a horrid ending. That, that was... A lot of heated emotions. Then we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So that's somebody that's immature, is unwilling to learn new tendencies. The Two of Coins up hand, balance, moderation. The Tower, something you know, a full foundation of something building all the way up to the top and then crumbling down, having to start from foundation up again. Then we have the Four of Coins. Uh, so that's having financial control. Okay, And then the Knight of Coins in reverse, untrustworthy. Letting the fear dictate the reality. What does this mean? So, there was somebody that you were cycle repeating with, okay? And you just, you really just ended it. You actually ended it. I want you to know how Spirit is extremely proud of you. They know how hard it was for you to do this. You had to let go of your old life to welcome in your new one. And there's just no way you could have had both timelines. There's no ways you could have lived in both timelines. Okay, so the next card with that Knight of Wands. It was a person that was unwilling to learn with you. They, they might have given you a lot of promises or this was a job that said that they were going to promote you from within or that certain things would change about the dynamic of the work environment. You'd be treated better and you never did, right? The only way you were going to find that balance and moderation for you was by leaving this dynamic. Sometimes, sometimes really the only thing you can do is separate yourself. Sometimes certain people in, in settings, the vibration so low and they are staying stuck in it that the only thing you can do is separate. Spirit doesn't and can't let you stay in these stagnation places. They have to make you feel uncomfortable. They have to make you do the growth because they know the timeline that you think is waiting for you, but really that timeline's waiting for you. You think you're waiting for that timeline, but that timeline's actually waiting for you, okay? But that tower moment, that transformation, this is a moment of transformation. Yeah, a lot of meteors and things hit that. And you could have, it could have even been like tonight. It could have been during nighttime. You really could be like, we could be up right now. And just like, man, you're analyzing everything that just happened. This is not the end of the world. This is the start of your actual world. This is not the end of the world. This is the end of the, of the timeline that was picked for you. Not the timeline that you know you're destined to have. The timeline where you rise from the ashes and you're happy and you have wish fulfillment and financial fulfillment. See that you all you had with this person and or this job situation was financial control. There was no passion. There was no empathy. There was no drive. It was just finances. It was just stability. So you saw how money isn't everything. And how a lot of those efforts, a lot of those things that you got told in the beginning were gonna change, didn't it? 
you're like, I'm, I'm tired of not trusting my own intuition and my intuition continuously tells me just to go ahead and end this dynamic, no matter how scared I am of the jump or the what if of something else not being better. You broke the self-illusion. You broke your cycle. This is amazing. Now you have the ability to go find a place of work that actually values you or a partner that actually values you. Let's get into the Oracle cards with this, okay? All right. Oh yeah, you're gonna get messages about feathers. Oh yeah. So, so interesting. What, with these Oracles, out the, the reversals are what you're sending the world or this person, depending on how we're using the cards and that question and that time. And then inwards is what that person's sending you. Okay? And this is interesting. Because this is all about the person. This isn't about the universe. This is about this person or this job. This is what you were sending out. Okay? Action, forward movement. 34, the sunflower. 18, palm, destiny. Crystals, number nine. Achievement and feather messages. So you, what you were saying to this person is communication. I want to work through this. I want to get better. I see you part of my destiny. I know that my, my vibration, I know I've been guided to be here for some reason. And you're ready to make action. You're ready to make forward movement. The words you say match your actions. So for a long time, if this was that work dynamic, like you didn't, I'm not saying that you, you if it, no matter if this is the work dynamic or the person and this destiny card, don't take that as is like, they're your final, your ending, that, that you were destined to be together to the end of times. You're destined to be at that job for the end of times. No, just like how we like you, you sent the energy to this person, to this job of like, I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson and, and, and experience and power that I was able to harness from being in this situation. Growth, protection, a lot of emotional protection. So you might be that person at work that people could talk to, or you're that, per that partner who always would let the person talk about them, but you were never able to express yourself, what your needs and wants and desires and yada yada are. It ain't yada yada. And then we have the eight, nine, and seven with the feather messages. This is about like that divine union. So you're going to get messages about a feather. This isn't anything. This is a double meaning because you were sending messages to this person either verbally or actually like texting or the job being like where's the communication where's the back and forth and you were just always left in limbo but they are also channeling a second meaning of this for me for you so something about a person who is matching your highest frequency is a soul tie it's coming into your life in fact you might even already know this person is and in fact you might know that you're the one that has to make the forward movement but we'll get there with the cards with this Okay, they're going to send you a lot of signs about this divine union that's coming. This divine union that may already be here and the ball may be in your court. Collective, so take as resonates. Okay. What? So basically, sum it up. You were just for this job or this person life you were giving. I want to grow and learn and nourish each other. What were you getting back from this person or this job? 23 and 41. Em moon, emotions, and lightning disruption. So, channeling right back into that, that emotional stability. How you were the, the one that the shoulder could always cry on or the ball would be dropped on you. And also with the moon, like the, the moon card in tarot represents secrets and trickery being unveiled. So this person was sending you disruption of your inner peace, disruption of your vibration, of your spiritual 
uh, awakening increasing and upgrading they had served their purpose in your life or this job had served its purpose at a time it did serve your it did serve you but that that time is gone in all of their emotions all of them and of course when we're in dynamics and when we're in relationships we have to show our person all of our emotions but there's a difference between allowing yourself to be you and not hold back and then like fucking like center focusing attacking your emotions onto somebody those are two totally different things it's energy this person was disrupting your inner peace and they in or this job you did the right thing Two, three, four, one. You did the right thing. Either you found out the secrets yourself or you came to terms with that this person was never going to admit it. This job, you figured out that they were actually never going to try to fix these problems. You picked yourself. You said enough's enough. You stopped this disruption and took back the power of your life. So what's going into this? This 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 is definitely about a counterpart. This is definitely about a person. A forward movement though. This is a person you haven't been with. So what's going on with that? With the B chords. Okay. Alright, so outwards, what you're sending them. Maypole, 24 and fertile. In what I see for there is a reason to dance and drink upon the riches I receive. 33 ribbons. For it lives in the silk of my binding, the knots in my truth, the eyes of becoming, the witness swallowed the stillness. So that's the two that's what you're sending out to this to this person. Without it, you even have to you you for some of you know who this person is and some of you you don't. But whoever this divine is, this is you. No matter if you know who the other one is or not, you always feel each other's energy. Your tingle partners. So the energy you're sending them is that you're you're ready to pick yourself. You're ready to bask in your richness, and not feel shameful, or that you have to be quieted. You're sending the vibration of knowing your truth and owning yourself, standing up for yourself. That you're not allowing yourself to get stuck in the stillness. You appreciate and see the beauty of the stillness. But then listen to when the current picks back up and you go with it. You're sending the energy to this person that you have your train going. You're both about to meet up at Hogwarts, if you will. What is this person sending you? What is your divine? This soul tie, what are they sending you right now? Even if they don't know who you are, or they might as well, they might. 27, Oak. Don't just look within. Dive deeply into the eternal realms of knowing. Oaks. And then that's a red cardinal. There's two red cardinals, and I've been channeling so much about red cardinals lately. So red cardinals, big sign for you. Um, when you see a red cardinal, know that was sent from your divine. Uh, when you see that feather and a red cardinal... Those were two messengers sent specifically from your divine. Your divine said to the universe, whoever my divine is, send them a red cardinal, send them a feather, and know it's from me. Let them feel the love, the intention, with me wanting nothing in return. Feel the peace of that gift from me to you, my love. And how cheesy it sounds. You could have really nice eyelashes because I've never noticed that. Well, two things. Very cool. I like this. So, so two things for sure. Um, look at, if you can look at the tree, he has like really fucking pretty eyelashes, but also you can tell that the, the way that they made him, they made him to look like he has a beard. So you could have a really nice beard or a really nice eyelashes or very well both. That's a big sign. And that's something they're really going to like about you is your eyes. Yeah. Interesting. Or the divine, depending on how this is going. The divine could be the one with the beard. You could be the one with the eyelashes or vice versa, whatever. Okay, remember these things are collective, guys. And then we have primal. There is no other way but through the very truth that lives within you. 
indulgence. You are worthy of every desire, every will. Dream, demand what is yours, demand what you need. And hand fasting, 17. The pulls and pulse through all I am. No hidden form is left untouched. I am willing, I am risking for I yearn for unity spilled luxur lustrously upon my lips. Whoa, that's, I felt a lot of energy between you two. So this person sending you the energy, like you got a powerful person. You got a pow powerful person. This person's broken um, a lot of their own self-illusion self, uh, and then the, the, the illusion of others. This person is dedicated to their spiritual awakening, their journey. They're seeing themselves as always on that boat, continuing the voyage. With the hand fasting, this person is a, is a committed person. When they when they they don't just say yes to anybody and they don't just allow anybody in their life. And if they decide that you're one of the ones to be by their side, they will they will be there for you through the sticks and stands of the times. You know what I'm trying to say. With that primal, um, this person knows that this is going to go, like, whatever they feel for you without even being in your vicinity right now, this, this goes back to, like, you've had different lives together. This is a, a past life experience. This isn't the first time. And there's no other way around this that you two are destined to meet that they're ready to meet you, to cross paths again, depending on the situation. This person with this indulgence, they want you to know that they will please um, your every desire, your every need. This person's going to make you feel a way that you've never had before. This person, and I'm like, and yeah, this is, I'm talking about this in a sexual way. But like, what I'm feeling, it's not like that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, this person's going to make you fill your entire body at once. This person, and more than that, the outer, outer body experience, they're going to pay attention to the littlest things that, the way your body moves to the way they touch. The things that make you excited. Tempo, everything. Like this is beautiful. This is this is so much more than lust. This is like ew, okay? It's yeah. You're gonna be like when you're in each other's vicinity, everything's gonna make sense. Why I never fully connected with anybody else. Your divine is telling you to demand to the world. Demand to the world that you're ready for me. I'm demanding to the world I'm ready for you, but I'm at peace with fate about it. Yeah. So you be at, you be at peace with fate. This person... Very well, you could know. A lot of you do know who this person is. And you've just avoided it for a long time because I feel you going back and forth in your head. Is it? You might have even like been three people. But there's this one. There's this one person that you just continuously were like, no, no, no. And you realize you every person since truly meeting that person. It doesn't matter if you knew other people longer. You could have... Known this person for a day, two days. But the, the imprint they had on your mind, the triggering to your growth they did, you realized everybody since meeting them has just been another person on your spiritual journey, another person on your spiritual awakening. But this person is staying, this person is sticking in your mind. And... Uh, yeah. For you, the ones of you who you don't know who this person is yet, understand the intensity of this connection. You will know it when you see them. Needless to say, you've made that you've made room in your boat. You've made room in your life for more than one new opportunity. Yeah, 
You lit the candle to your own fire. I like the way I said that. I meant to say it the other way. You lit the candle to your own fire. You lit the fire to your own candle. You are the candle and the fire. Person's been the fucking match. The candle stays on. Sometimes it just needs a little little push, right? Wow. Feeling a lot. Okay. So, you made the right decision. And it's time to go forward. And if you know who this person is, bring them clarity. If you don't, spirit will send you the signs you need. All right. Let's get it. All right, let's get that extra little bit. So I have a feeling that if you're still here, you know who this person is and you need that proof. <laughs> Being right never feels wrong. Evidence confirmation, see for yourself. Yeah, it is that person. You're right. And you're right. The ball is in your court. Contact them. Contact them. Let's get it. <laughs> 